So what's going on guys? My name's Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. We're on our first game update past patch 1.05 in World War II Zombies. If it's your first time around here, be sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you're new. But we're going to be talking about triple XP being active. Apparently it was some sort of bug and Michael Condry said that it went back to double XP which will end Tuesday, November 14th. We got a lot going on, so if anything sparks an idea, be sure to hit me up over on Twitter. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. I've been ranking up. I've been ranking up a lot trying to get to Prestige 1. It's very important to me. We had triple XP in zombies. You can see the double XP over there on the right hand side, okay? We're going to be cycling through as I leveled up to 45. That's the goal. That's the goal to get to Prestige 1. Once you approach the late 30s and into the 40s, the ranking seems to be getting higher and higher, but I assure you it's not going up by that much. And we're going to talk about all of that, but getting to rank 40 ultimately is a good feeling. You just know that you got five more ranks to go, where it seems like the stretch to get from 40 to 45 takes longer than it does just to get to 40. Rest assured, you're in home field. Just keep driving down the lane and view it that way. You only have five more ranks to go. So with the game being out a week and some change, I gotta admit that I have not earned that many zombie supply drops on my way to 45. The most I've probably gained is about 8 total and that's between normal zombie supply drops and actual rare ones. Luckily on the 14th, which is this Tuesday, COD points are being introduced and everybody will be able to now buy rare supply drops or even Nazi zombie rare supply drops. So. Both MP and Zombies will benefit from this, but it is microtransactions, so let me know in the comment section what you guys think about that. We are now approaching Prestige 1. I have the ranks to make it happen, Captain. It's about to go down, but first I want to talk about Triple XP. LEA tweeted that Double XP didn't seem like it was working, and Michael Condry responded back that they accidentally triggered Triple XP, so grind while the weekend's on. Here is the breakdown that I've officially came up with. I've researched every in and out that you could possibly find. Basic XP and kills. Melee's worth 100, headshots 65, body shots are worth 50. Kill rewards translates to Raven tokens, 500 kills. All the bonus XP and details are of objectives, purchases, and waves. We're talking about this number right here. This number is your overall bonus for XP, and that's what's important to note. We're breaking that down specifically this is the triple XP breakdown, and it's our first event that's happening in Nazi Zombies. The ranks from 30 to 39, your max XP will range from 51 to 56,000. 500 XP buff as you rank up. Same in concession with 40 to 45, 56,000 to 58,000. Only going up 350 XP per rank. Total kills per rank, roughly about 800 once you approach the late 30s into the 40s. Those are the official stats. I did them myself so you can trust my information. Now let's go ahead and enter Prestige Level 1. By entering Prestige, your player rank will be reset to 1. Are you sure you want to enter Prestige? Absolutely. We're going to talk about what exactly happens. Your rank is reset. You will be reset to Prestige 1, Rank 1. You will keep all of your progress, your challenges, combat records, and multiplayer mode progress will remain. And in addition, you will receive a class slot, a new custom class slot, so you'll have an extra one there in your loadouts. Part of the other prestige reward that you get is a special calling card, which we'll go over that here in a second. But as you guys know, I have been grinding at work as well on top of making YouTube videos. And what I did was a concert of the Foo Fighters. I talked to you guys about that, show you guys a little bit of footage. <laughs> Working that event was just as cool as it sounds. I had a lot of security on my ass taking video footage and I can't take it backstage. However, I did take it from the side. That was the best angle I could get at the stage. So this is the calling card, Nazi Zombies Prestige 1. It's an epic calling card. You get this for achieving rank 45 and actually prestiging. Just so you guys know, just a little bit of extra juicy loot to throw in your inventory. 
But I would say right now the goal, 100%, is to reach Prestige 1, because once you got all these recordings, you have the goal of beating the Easter Egg, you know, you beat it the first time you get the helmet. We're on our way to Prestige 2, but it's going to take a long ass time to get there, because we're going back down to 1 XP. Double XP is going to end here Tuesday, and we're going back to 1 XP, so... When you prestige, you do have to get to rank 5, which doesn't take long. It actually takes about 23 waves to achieve. But your loadouts and Raven research will be locked until you reach that rank again, so you will go in blind. Throughout this prestige, this first prestige, I've told you I've made 8 zombie supply drops happen. Now, I have saved 6 of them. I've only thrown 2 away. And now we're going to open up all of these before COD points are introduced. Because then you can just buy them. So this is what I've earned in my prestige one and we're gonna see what we get here we can open the two commons up right now we can also open up the rares but there's something in the headquarters i want to check first before we open those up we'll open those up in the headquarters so nothing too much we're mostly refilling on consumables there's somewhat of a spicy meme we got a little bit of an epic but nothing good for zombies i'm excited to see what kind of dlc drops are actually going to be happening in these zombie supply drops, especially with COD points being introduced. Are we going to have more options available to us? I'm not sure. But what we do know is the Prestige Outpost doesn't really give zombie players love once they prestige. Apparently it's not good enough. I don't know. The General doesn't like what we're bringing to the table. He doesn't like that heat that we got on our arm. But General, rest assured, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, baby. That's right, I have reached Prestige 1, and I will max that out. Heading down into where Major Hank Radeu is. This is our man. This is the man I'm going to be talking about very shortly in a video coming up. And over here on the right in his little area. And we only have the option to go to zombies. I feel like that will be a vendor that we will explore further on. Those pictures on the wall might be DLC hints. We'll get into that in a later video. We're going to open up these supply drops right now. This is a rare zombie supply drop. We got four of them. Drop one right in front here. Let's see what we go ahead and get. Oh, a couple emotes, but a mystery box key. Let's do another one. The Army Banjo Epic Shovel. See, we're running into the same issue here in World War II Zombies, where we can't edit our melee weapons. We had that problem in Infinite Warfare. Do you ever think that maybe where you place your zombie supply drop is kind of cursed, so you try a different spot? Let's throw it down. We got another uniform meme, but we're getting a lot of these self revives, and the more you rack that up, the better, because those tend to be hit on accident a lot, and it's just really good to have extras. I think we're going to open up this last one right in front of where Major Hank Rodeo is. This is his little office in our headquarters area, so we're going to throw it down right here in celebration of First Prestige. <laughs> So there you have it. There's all six of my zombie supply drops, and I just wanted to bring you guys a little bit of an opening before COD points were introduced, and I hope you guys could take something from this, especially if you haven't prestiged yet. There's a lot of stats that I definitely wanted to introduce to you guys, and getting to rank 5 is very important right after you prestige so I went ahead and got that done while the double XP was active but since I've reached this goal I feel like getting to prestige 2 is gonna take a long time with single XP being the variant that we have I think that I'm gonna be going for the main Easter egg the hardcore version beating that and that'll be the next direction I take moving forward with zombies and we're gonna get into the lore a little bit more here on the channel so if you haven't already be sure to activate the bell icon so you get every single upload Welcome to Prestige 1, and for those of you guys who are almost there, keep trucking, keep plowing away at the field, you're going to have your chance, and once you get here, things are a lot better. It's nice up here. It really is. We're only a week and some change out, so I imagine the Prestige rewards will get better. We got a calling card and an extra loadout slot. See you guys in the next video. Violin out.